Hello everybody, welcome to Rise of Insanity. Let's go on and get started. Warning, this game contains frightening scenes and sudden increase of tension. People with a weak heart and epilepsy problems are advised not to play. And whatever else happened. Keep calm. Relax. And calm down. Calm all your senses. My name is Dr. Stephen Dowler. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. You ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And at the end, you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. That was some kind of test. <laughs> what the heck just happened? <laughs> All right, what we got here? Patient Edward, preliminary interview, initial diagnosis, test a new therapy, waiting for results. All right. Oops, wrong way. Um, how do you exit out the... Okay, just click. The patient's data. Edward. 41 years old. Day, September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well. As well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with his case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Okay, Breeding Birds and Bird Taxidermy by Richard Burnman. All the best of your seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Stephen. Dad. That's weird. Can you tell me the picture of this? It looks like, uh, uh, looks like a monster ready to get you. I don't know. <laughs> a ball. And what's this? What happened to their eyes? That's kind of weird. What kind of office is this? So are we playing a uh, psychiat psychiatric doctor? Or a psychiatrist? <laughs> I know it's... I mean, it's the same thing, really. Alright, is there nothing else? I guess not. Let's get the heck out of here. A toy car. A clue. What's this? Crime scene. Do not cross. What the heck? What the heck happened here? Hello. Anybody home? I uh. Doctor Do Doctor Dowell launches his new experimental treatment method. Psych 
psycholo psychology. <laughs> Is that like a magazine for psychiatrists? Oops, is there a file? No. You know what they say, you can't really, uh... You, can't, you know, patients' files are confidential. Don't cross. Crime scene, oh yeah. What did he do? What happened here? Like... Jeez, everywhere? Like, what happened here? A family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator was... Uh-oh. I'm guessing, uh, now I know the answer. Music sheets. Madness Symphony. Ooh. I'm a musician myself, and I can't even read these notes. <laughs> I mean, I can. I can read notes, such as... Jeez, I don't think I can even... Looks more like a tongue twister than a... Uh, than a music sheet. What's in here? Hello? Dear Mrs. Dowell, I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one, of the p one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was to mainly plant dahlias. I have actually... Sorry, I have accentuated them with clematis flowers. I surrounded everything with white poppies. You will be delighted. Edward. Alright. The TV's on. It's all snowy. Can I turn it off? It's like the... Never mind. Theodore Dowell. English. B. Mathematics. A. Science. A. P. E. B. Ethics. A. Signature of pa uh, Parent. Susan Dowell. Wow. The kid must be in, uh. Must be, must be really smart. Honey! Please turn off the TV. It's gonna be stormy. Hello? Uh -huh, I get it, cause it's snowy. <laughs> it's, it's that's what it's called. It's snow. <laughs> All right, turn it off. All right, anything else? Uh, hello. Oh, what's this, sweetheart? Remember that you're on duty today. Okay. Hello? Anybody get the, getting the the phone? Where's my phone? Okay, it's on the right somewhere. Oh, there it is. Am I talking with Dr. Stephen Dowell? Hello? Patient. Edward, 41. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor, and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Okay. So who's the patient? It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for I identification purposes. Dr. Abraham, I apologize for not having Rin so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and did not have enough time. I trust that you're okay. How is your wife, Berta? I certainly have a case on a certain patient, Edward... Oh, his name is... Uh, that name was scratched off. He is 21 years old. He is reporting problems with sleeping with memory... Uh, sleeping with memory. Sleeping and memory. I notice he seemed to have a certain minor tics, and there are times when he suddenly... 
and strangely moved the smaller, small finger on his left hand. He told me about the nightmare that has been haunting him for some time. It is the only dream that he is able to remember. He told me that he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. However, he was not able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. It is very strange before, because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is that there are beginnings of schizophrenia or a multiple personality disorder. However, you are the only one who has more experience in psychopathy or path, psych, psychopathology. Best regards, Stephen. Oh. So what's happening here? So is this the office I work? That's weird. Why is there flies all over the place? Hello? St. Jonah Hospital. Jesus. Ooh, the music's getting scary. City news. Mother and seven-year-old murdered. Vision can be saved. 50% of babies born with syphili uh, syphilis have impaired eyesight. Consult a reputable, reputable, uh, yeah, re re ah, reputable physician. What the heck? Eyes. Lots of eyes everywhere. This is creepy. Very creepy indeed. It would have an ear. Alright, let's uh... Welcome to the floor. Uh oh. Something just went by me. Rubber ducky. Alright. What's happening here? Everything's, uh, all messed up here. What's happening here? Uh, what does that one look like? It looks like a spaceship. I don't know. Toy train. Okay, to her heart is located where your journey began. Okay, so right. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so. Probably gonna have to look, uh, upstairs. Ooh, this is scary. Oh, shit. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> That's scary. I don't know what I'm Do you hate me so much? <laughs> Hi there. I'm back. Check eyesight. Room 6. Okay. You know, I could have just done that before. Ooh, that scared the heck out of me. Okay, eyesight. Check eyesight. Number 6. Hello. Hello. 
Okay, here we go. 629. 629 is the... Don't you scare me now. 629. Pretty bad time to, uh, for the elevator to break. Now we should really fix that elevator. <laughs> it's all clunky and everything. I'm back, everybody. I hope I wasn't gone too long. I just wanted to go get the code. What the heck? Ah, jeez. What's wrong with you? Oh yeah, I was already here. Okay. Six. Two. Nine. Yay. Shoot. Who is that? No match. What is happening? Uh oh. Hi. Don't wanna. Okay, so I can't come over here. Okay, is there a way for me to go over there on that side? Oh dear. Oh god. Hello? What's happening? Dropping boys. Is he, uh, uh oh. What happened now? Oh. What's happening here? So this is a uh, garden. So this is the garden. Who's crying? Is someone crying in the garden? Some garden elf crying that needs some help. Hello. Alright, this is like layers of fear for some reason. Maybe not outside. Ow. Why the heck would you, uh... Ooh, a key. Garden key. More rubber ducky. Okay, so let's go. What is it over here? Oh! 
Uh oh. It's funny because I walked real fast and I didn't even see him coming. Is that like an evil doctor? Trying to stop me? You will not stop me. Daddy, play with me. Where are you? Certificate. Theodore Dowell, age seven. Family home strangled in strangulation and sleep. Oh dear. Daddy, why did you allow him? I didn't mean to. Alright, nice. Oh man. Alright, I'll answer the phone. Hello? Daddy! Daddy! He's here! He's back! Oh god. Alright, so we are here now. What is this? Our family home? Is this the kid's room, or...? Theodore is a very talented uh, child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape, which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something. No, nothing to worry about. Miss Johnson, teacher. Nah, he's seen something. He's seen something, and I'm pretty sure the fa uh, this guy knows it too. Hey, I'm home. Hopefully. Hi. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Uh oh. Ah, jeez. Uh, ah. <laughs> Wait, I was not supposed to be here? Okay. Very well. Alright, I'll try again. Okay, I'll take a sword, please. Alright, so we already read those. Sorry. <laughs> Dear Mrs. Dell, I'm very pleased that you. Okay, that I. Oh, no, no, it's a different one. Dear Mrs. Dell, I am very pleased that you fancy my floral composition. I received my your comments and further recommendations. I will plant rhodo rhododendrons as per your as per you wish. I will have to drive my car in front of the greenhouse to move in seedling. Move the seedlings. I hope you do not mind, Edward. The heck is that? I need a fuse. Oh dear. I need to go get a fuse box. Oh dear, rats. Hello, rats. Are they from the rats of Nim? Have they come to take my electricity? More squeaky toys. Uh, arrow. Okay, I think that's that's what it's called. All right. No fuse box any fuse box. No fuse anywhere. Hello. Oh, this rat is dead. Who took out the rat? The heck is wrong with you? More, more pictures. Yay! Ah, oh, jeez, what the heck, man? Who's breaking my stuff? How dare you? Disturbing effects, I won't read all that. 
Dear Stephen, my wife is very well, as usual. Let's move to the essence of the case. You should remember that we have a similar case in the past. It was the case that you took active part in. We are overworked. You might have forgotten. I think that you should, with the use of suggestion, help your patient to finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting, uh, accepting traumatic events he has experienced could be the starting point in merging his different solves. Looking forward to your next letter. Greetings, Abraham. Alright. Okay. Oh, what happened here? Things changed here. Okay, so... Alright, oops. I didn't mean to do that. I was already correct. Uh -huh. There we go. Whew. I gotta... Oh, are you serious? Oh. Thought maybe it had a... Uh... I thought maybe it had a... Uh... Oh yeah. There we go. Why are my mirrors broken? Okay, stay away... Okay. Okay. Everything's not clear here. Ooh, boy. Hey, was that a tape recorder? Patient Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. So... What happened? So is he... So what happened to him, like... So is he reliving his past? Oh, scary clowns. Daddy, I'm lost. It was so sad. I lost my figurines. In Boys here? For me. Bruce Porter for me. Oh, I don't like that. The way his eyes, his eyes, <laughs> the way his face is, ay, his voice distorted. I was like, ah, oh, crud. Ew. It's not gonna be easy. So. I... More pictures. Nice pictures. <laughs> do, 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 do. How many dolls did you lose? Uh, three? Only found one. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to look for it upstairs.
Hello. So, what's the next uh, door that's open? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> this one's like being pushed away more. This is creepy. Okay, so... Oh, here's another picture. Women receive 30 stab wounds today after the child is strangled during sleep. Oh, this is bad. Patient Eddie, 41. Day. <laughs> Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family, and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. So does he actually kill, well, judging by the new dreams. So is this like a dream that he's dealing with? So are we in like a dream? So he's trying to relive what he did? Dear Stephen, analyzing your previous letters and observations, I believe that the problem, problem is connected with... Blah, blah, blah. Please give it some more thought. I am worried about you and your family. When I come back from... Blah, 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 I will visit you and we will talk. Abraham. P.S. Send your wife and child some, some place. Make sure they are safe. Oh. Interesting. And I'm guessing they're not safe. <laughs> or maybe they are. Maybe he's just... So is he reliving something? So is he reliving a dream? Oh. Move that out of the way. So is he reliving a dream he had? Um, about him and his wife and his child? Welcome to the second floor. Or the second, well, technically. How many floors are in this hospital? Yes, I've come for an appointment. Hello? Anybody here? There's nobody here. Can I go home now? So dark in here. What's this? Breaking news. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. Huh? So... So not only is he a doctor, he's also a gardener? No, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> is this the gardener that we're playing, or is this the doctor? Found the Sega figurines. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's no elevator here, so we can't take the elevator. Can we leave? Apparently not. Apparently it's not a thing we can do in this game. <laughs> okay. Can I, uh... Okay, here's the bathroom. Is someone washing their hands? Oh. Wash your hands. I have no reflection. I'm a vampire. I'm playing. Shoot, scared the heck out of me. I'm playing as a vampire. Ew. How many rubber duckies are in here? Eee, that's scary. 
The last figurine. Get me out of here. Oh dear. Oh no. Ah, there's a raven. Has Alistair Dolomar come to, uh... Has Alistair Dolomar come to, uh... Ah! Drowning in blood. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. See, don't bump into any of them. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Flying again. So am I like one of those, uh, hello? Hi. Say, what is that? It's a slender man all of a sudden. Are we looking for a slender man? Anything in the garden? Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to, to restrain myself when I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand. I imagine us, together with cold steel in your in your bowels. I look at your beautiful eyes, gaze with tears, and your li uh, life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fa on your fading lips, Eddie. What the heck? Sheesh. What a lunatic. Got some tape. Why do I need tape for? Ah! Jesus. I hate this. More pictures? E. So is so is the the kid? Um. So was the kid imagining? I'm not imagining the shadow from the from his. Uh, don't go through there. Okay. Picture. Is he still there? No, I'm not supposed to. Okay, never mind. I guess I have to go for the effect, or else the game will continue. Hello. All right. Yep. Not supposed to go there. Yeah. Get away from there. Supposed to do something here. Okay, do I still have? Well, I need, probably need to get the the tape again. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Was that a masking tape? Why do I need a masking tape for? Can I use the scissors? Nope. This game is creepy. Oh god. Knew you would show up. Okay, I can't get on the boat. The boat is broken. Okay, so what do I need to fix? That's so important. Oh god. 
Oh, that stinks. Do I need to go to the... Okay, we got a train. Can I get in the van? What's this here? The well... Ooh! Here we go. The gardener's stuff. Why am I in here, though? Something I needed? Nope. Okay, cool. Turn the light on. So that's what we needed to do. We needed to turn on the light. So, get a mouse. What's this? Dead boy buried in garden. As a result of an ongoing investigation, the police have found the body of Theodore Dowell, the son of the well-known psychi psychologist, was murdered and buried in the greenhouse on the premise by gardener Edward S. This is getting creepy. Thought there was something there. Hello. Come for me. Okay. What's happening here? Turn off the light, please. Okay, so I can't go through there then. I thought I could go through there. Hey. What's this? Uh, uh, scared the heck out of me. Whew, made my my skin crawl. I jumped a little bit, but my, my, my skin crawl. What happened? Who's ruining my house? Okay, famous psychologist accused by the Committee of Ethics. Okay, apparently I can't go through there. Hello? Just a bunch of bird. A bunch of bird. Just a bird. going crazy? Is the doctor going crazy? You blasted rats with wings. Where's the phone? Oh 
no. This Sunday morning, he slept the doctor was right. Nightmares have gone. What the heck? So did he finish the dream? My name is Dr. Uh oh. That's creepy. Are they in some type of cult or something? I don't know. Why is he wearing a mask? Theodore is a very okay. Never mind. I already saw that already. So he's just telling us. Oh dear. Where's the border between the dream and reality? What is our life? Is that the is it that what is is dreamt or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, what about you what would you do if you could sorry. What would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Eddie. So who is... Okay. 8 1973 Teddy's third birthday was great. The party was held in our garden. All dishes and desserts were made from fruits that we picked there. The only thing that got me worried was that Stephen took an active interest in Teddy's mental development. He is only three, and his he is only three, and his father is already forcing him to learn to read. I have to talk to him. Oops, keep pressing the wrong button. What's <laughs> going on? Uh oh. I'm stuck here. Hello. Oh, rubber ducky. Hello. Did something happen? Oh, never mind. I was like, I thought something happened. My game, I thought my game froze for a second. It's going insane. Where's my bedroom? Ah, oh, jeez. Yay. Hey Ben, can I get into the bathroom for a while? Can I get into the bathroom? Why? Uh -oh. I don't think I can get into the bathroom. Honey, bring me the towel from the bedroom. 
Okay. Okay, let me go get a towel from the bedroom. I don't think I can get the towel from... Where the heck's the towel? Okay. There it is. Here's the, here's the bedroom. Four... Uh, sorry, April 5th, 1975. Due to too many responsibilities, I don't have time to take care of our garden. I have asked Steven to help me. He's to hire somebody, someone to help. At least that much you can offer. That's all I can ask for. April 6, 1975. I can't stand these maniacal attempts to make a genius out of, of our child. Stephen is out of line, taking our child to the hospital and testing him with mental development. Methods is a sick fad. Sometimes I think that this marriage was a big mistake. I would drive Teddy to his grandma. He could use a little break from his father. Is there no towel here? There it is. There it is. Towel. Here you go, darling. Hey, what the heck? Goodness gracious. I have mixed feelings about a relation. Uh, about a relation. Steven is my employer and I owe him a lot. I know. This is not a discussion to be held through a letter. Let me in the garden. Uh, sorry. Let's meet in the garden in two days. The usual spot. Edward. Uh, again. Here we go again. Alright, let's see. Uh, Dear Abraham, thank you so much for sending me Dr. Alfred Bennett's publication about the verification of children's IQ. Thanks to it, I have come with a great idea. I would not let you in, let you in on the details yet. I do not want to jinx it. All I can say is that it will c be connected with increasing the IQ of very small children and the initial, initial part of their mental development it will be revolutionary. I imagine this. Intellectual elites develop from their earliest age to advance our world and science. The mankind, the mankind may witness great discoveries thanks to my research. Greetings, Stephen. Ah, uh, boy. So, what's the deal now? Okay, is there anything else here? Anything I should look at? Okay, that thing's moved out of the way. Waste paper, make containers, for blood... Plasma? Okay. Still need a key. Research theme. The test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research, Theodore Dowell. The first attempts to increase IQ, I started using suggestion and manipulation method during REM sleep. The subject handled the experiment very well. I began the observation and started the manual visual tests phase. 
Alright, yo. What's going on here? Do I have a... Hello. Do I need to look for a... Uh, what do I need to look for? Yep. Gotta go back down there. Hello. Hello, dear um, elevator. I've come back. I've come back to have some fun. B1. Oh god. Looks broken. Do I need to fix it? Hi there. to that later, I guess. Yep, no, I think that's... I think I'm supposed to, like... Here we go. That's... What'd you give me? A key! Where's the key go? Oh, I don't want to go over there. E it's supposed to be here somewhere. A light bulb. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Hi there. Okay then. Is there a way I could? Waha! I gotcha! You can't frighten me. Bye! What's the key for again? Oh, it's for that chest, I think. I noticed I've been playing a lot of games with ravens in it, apparently. I played, uh... Mystery Case Files, Mates Carnival recently, and I think Ravenhurst as well. Dear Abraham, it's all gone to hell. My entire plan, all of it, everything was based on suggestion and on the and on the sorry and on an attempt to manipulate dreams in the REM phase. I was testing it on my son Teddy. I thought it would not be harmful that I had nothing to lose. On the contrary, I would be the one to form the first genius in the family created with this method. His his marks at school are higher, indeed, but he lacks empathy and he has started to be afraid of the darkness. My wife forbade me to continue my research. Why did I why did I even attempt to try this on my son? I am abandoning this project and sending your materials back. Thank you for them. I will not need them anymore. PS I might have an interesting patient soon. S -s -s with regards, Steven. More rubber duckies. Ah! 
Ah, shoot. Scared the heck out of me. Pew. My body just jumped out. <laughs> Get me out of here. Come on, man. Oh, this stinks really bad. to bring this cycle somehow. Uh, what should I look for? So was I supposed to... Okay, that's be good to do too, too good to be true, right? Or at least I hope it's not, because We gotta break through the cycle. Alright, we did it. Nature. It's good to be outside. Breathe that fresh air. Can you smell it? The sunlight. Hear the water. The forest. Unless it turns into animal wake and then it everything gets dark. I still should do something here. Okay, so I gotta look for... Oh, so we're reliving the picnic scene. Okay. There's the ore. Do I need two of them or I need one? Ooh, boy. That scared the heck out of me. We're going fishing. Do I, like... Oh, okay. Where are we sailing to? Oh, we're back here again. In the marshmallow world. <laughs> Increasing the intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. Is it the same thing? Okay. Okay, never mind. It's the same letter from last time. We have this little marshmallow stuff going on here. This is getting weird. The subject handled the experiment very well. Experiment very well. What's with this guy here? Fortune teller. What the heck is this? I knew I opened the trial against Edward. Is that a book? The breed and the birds taxidermy. 
Uh, oh, here it is. There's the door. I'm in the bathroom. Am I in a cell? Yep, I am. Flush the toilet. Hey, uh... Oh, shoot. Okay, this is... Okay, the case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell. Edward... Sir. After many attempts to make contact with the suspect, we still do not have any information. The accused is constantly smiling and indi in, sorry, indistinctly repeating a sentence that reads, The nightmares have stopped. This gaze is absent. He does not maintain eye contact with the interlo interlocutor. Uh, he probably does not make anything of the position that he is in without the presence of the forensic psych psychologist. We are not able to obtain more information. It is assumed that the case will be closed with an insanity plea. Oh, this stings. <laughs> so, what's this about? Hello? The suspect is shocked. There is no rational contact with him. It is understandable in his position. He hasn't said anything new. After the murder, there were many different comments from the psychology world in the press. The witness had only mentioned that his therapy for curing a mental split disorder has been very ineffective. He hasn't commented on that. Oh dear. Okay, anything in here? Okay, so it's gonna be... Three... Two... Seven. Three, two, seven. I'm guessing that's the thing. I played Penumbra. Overture. I think I kinda understood the... Morse code. Okay, three, two, seven. Where is the. But where is the lock? Okay, nope, not here. Three, two, seven. Where's the... Okay, maybe not there. Where is that... Oh. Is there a door open here? Good. So maybe you would tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? Can you hear me? It's better now, isn't it? So, can we continue? Great. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? With who? By any chance? John, I know that I... I know that tomorrow's Bowman's... Uh, Bowman's shift. So I hidden the key for the door. Uh, store... Sorry, for the door... Uh, never mind. In a safe place. 
don't don't tell him anything. Don't drive him nuts for a while. Well, let's drive him nuts for a while. What's this one? Okay, we can't read that one. Okay, so the key is locked. Okay, so what do we have to do? We still gotta go... We still have to figure out... What... That code is... 327... But where to find it? Okay, but where is it? Where am I supposed to look for it? There it is. Three. Oops. Three. Two. Seven. Yay! I got that. I got it right. I'll take the key, please. Not gonna jump scare me, are you? I'm just trying to get out of here, okay? I'm not trying to. What's in here? Alright. I'm coming. The blasted phone. Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh oh. What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Oh, never mind. I thought. Listen, that Bowman. Give me some creeps, Doctor. I won't manage alone. That was weird. Hello? What's happening? I hereby open the trial against Edward Hill about Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Do the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. What? After the appearance of the new evidence, which is Susan Dow's autopsy uh, protocol, we have come to know that she was in the first month of pregnancy. Furthermore, the father of the child is suspect, Edward. We have established that, sh that Stephen had a motive and the, s and the skills to manipulate Edward. During interrogation, the subject showed lack of contact with his inter interlocutors. Uh, he had experienced amb sorry, he experienced ambivalent states from hysteria attacks to complete ap apathy. During interrogation, the accompanying psychologist came up with the thesis about Ms. Mr. Dowell's insanity, which might have been caused by many traumatic experiences in the short period of time. Yeesh. I opened the trial against Stephen Dowell about malpractice against Edward Hurley, who caused Susan and Theodore Dowell's death. Did the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide. And did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant? Not with him, 
but with Edward. Oh dear. Okay, let's get out of here. Newspapers. Oh dear, where are we at now? How big is this game? Is it the theme song for Steven, the beginning? Can I see you in my office? Sure. I have no choice anyways. Or else the game will progress. Where's your office, buddy? Okay, mother and seven year old child murdered. Reason received 30. Okay. How are you feeling today? Everything's okay? I think it's time to show you something. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Alright then. Next room. Yeah, we. <laughs> relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a kind of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head, so perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming, or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. Similar situations repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while, to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie, his second personality, to feel happy just for a while to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we often met in the garden. Today, I again talked with Eddie. He is in very bad condition. Steven's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. So, what the heck was that? <laughs> Why were you showing me this? Can I get out now? Okay. Oh, no. Why are we upside down? Cool. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, what's this? ducky. these teddy bears ok 
god. Here we are in the garden again. This is more creepy. Oh jeez. What the heck? Oh, now you open the door. <laughs> Where are we going? Where the heck are we? Alright, we did it! That was great! Alright, can I... Oops, can I, like, uh... Alright, we did it! So we beat... Rise of Insanity. So we're gonna keep this going for a while, because apparently I can't, uh... uh I'm going to leave it uh, going for a little bit. So... Apparently what happened... Hold on, let me put it low. Now that the game is over, might as well, uh... Audio... Put it a little bit... Okay. Okay, so... Great job, uh, Red Limb. Thank you for playing. Uh, sorry, thank you for playing. Well, thank you. Alright, we did it. We beat Rise of Insanity. So, I just want to say, uh... Great job, developers. I almost forgot your name, I couldn't read it. I think it was uh, Retinim. That's what it was. So I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, thank you for watching the whole playthrough, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next time in the next one. Bye-bye.